today's Madden 24 video, I'm going to teach you guys a new defense all the pros are running right now. This defense is super easy to set up, it gets great pressure and still has great coverage. Let's get into it now. YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from sportsgamers.com. Now, I know I don't got my webcam in today, but I got an absolute banger for you guys. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you should be very familiar with the dollar A gap blitz out of the free safety zone blitz. However, there is a new way to run this defense that all the pros have been running that is absolutely lethal. And I'm going to teach you guys the secrets behind it today. So, you can run this defense from any playbook that has dollar. Personally, I really like the Jets and the Chiefs. Uh, they get the dollar, the nickel, the 4-3 even. Really nice stuff. And the coaching adjustments you're going to want, you're going to want auto flip off. You want base alignment on. Option defense set to conservative. Auto flip needs to be off because you really only want to run this defense with the blitz coming from the left. Base alignment, I like to leave this on. Some people turn it off, but I like it on base just because I feel like my defenders defend the sidelines better. But honestly, you can run this defense on default too. As far as zone drops and all that, that is completely optional. We're just going to leave them on default for this setup. Now, the only thing is, you're going to want to make sure you have a fast linebacker and a fast free safety. Um, the linebacker on the left of the screen is going to be a blitzer as well as the free safety. Now, the user is going to be the linebacker on the right of the screen where you see I have Simmons. Uh, that's about it, man. Now, you do want to put the play free safety zone blitz in your audibles. It's very important too because we are going to be audibling to this. The play we're going to come out in is the double safety go. Now, the reason why we come out in double safety go, I've explained this in other plays this year, but it brings both safeties into the box. So when you audible the other plays, they stay in the box. So like right here, when I audible to the free safety zone blitz, the safety stays in this box. Now, I'm going to show you guys a setup to this, how to set up the pressure, and then how to adjust the coverage. we got a few different ways to do it that I'm going to show you guys in this video. I'll show you guys how to beat slide protection, how to beat blocking, and how to lock up the meta on offense. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video so you don't miss out on any important info. And if you want more high-level Madden 24 content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop me a like, comment on the video. I do appreciate all the support. So the most basic way to run this play is literally as soon as you audible to it, you're just going to user this guy over the right guard. I like to put myself on a blitz angle. I QB contain. And then I shave my coverage underneath so I get hard flats. The hard flats are just going to help me defend uh, the quick flats so they can't get a quick pass out. And this is really it. So this is the base setup. And you guys can see you're going to get pressure either from that A or B gap pretty much instantly, either from the linebacker or the free safety. Now, the reason why this setup is better and is basically what most of the pros are running now than the setup that everybody has been running for a while now is because this even works against slide protection and a lot of the advanced protections people use. You guys can see here, you just take away that first read over the middle. The flats are taken away. You have three deep zones. You're getting caged. I would definitely recommend having mid zone and deep zone on the corners and safeties, but that is optional as well. If you play mud though, it's pretty much, I would say, all the corners in the game right now get it anyway. So it's pretty easy to do. Now, just so you guys know, this setup will beat slide protection. So again, you simply come out of double safety go. You audible to free safety zone blitz. When you do that, you'll get the safety and a linebacker and left the screen blitzing. You QB contain and you shade underneath for hard flat. What most people are going to do against this blitz is they're going to slide protect to the right. Slide protecting to the right is the first thing most people do when they see they get an A gap blitz or some sort of gap pressure. They try to slide right. Now, slide right will pick up the default setup to free safety zone blitz that people have been running with the pinched line, but it will not pick up this setup. As you guys see, slide right, we're still screaming up that gap each and every time. Once again, we'll show it to you so you can see it's not fluke. Again, audible from double safety go to free safety zone blitz. Shade coverage underneath, QB contain. Take your user stand over to guard on a blitz angle. And again, we're going to slide protect right. It's not going to work, as you guys can see here. Again, screen pressure, you take away the first read, they're sacked. Now, the other thing a lot of people will try to do is they'll try to double team the D tackle. Double teaming the D tackle uh, with a combo slide right, or even IDing him, but double teaming especially, does normally do a pretty good job against a uh, free safety zone blitz. But once again, you're going to see this is not going to work. If I double team this D tackle, do you want to become a better Madden player and win more games? If so, check out my premium Madden strategy website, sportsgamers.com. I have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks and schemes, all from the pros at the lowest price possible. I have helped thousands upon thousands of Madden players improve their games, and I can help you as well. Our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet. 
This membership will include all of our Madden ebooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. It's simply going to do nothing. So again, shade underneath, QB contained. Super easy setup you can do in a split second. And we're good. As you guys can see, again, get the pressure up the middle. Easy. Now, the other thing people will try to do is they'll try to double team the end on the right of the screen and then just, you know, basically get out of the pocket immediately. This, you know, can do a decent job, but once again, not really against this because when we shade underneath with QB contains, again, we have the line spread out. So it's going to be a lot harder to contain that guy because he's spread out and we're still going to get the quick pressure. This is not going to pick it up at all. As you guys can see here, I mean, three people are sacking me before I can even get a chance to roll out. So you guys can see that this pressure is absolutely crazy. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, well, what if they just block the running back? Because, like, you know, sometimes people don't want to send everybody out, especially if they're getting screamed at. They might block the running back. The thing is, this split still gets good pressure if you block the running back. It's going to still come up the middle in some way, shape, or form. Blocking the running back honestly does not help a lot. As you guys can see here, once again, you still get that quick pressure. And while, you know, he might get slowed down for a split second, we're still getting sacked very quickly. Now, how could we adjust our coverage? Now that you see the base pressure, there are different ways you can adjust your coverage. So first of all, you know, I am a lot of times shading underneath to get hard flats, and you know, this is going to take away the quick flat. But what if somebody is hitting me with a corner route, a deep corner route, or even a double corner combo? Now, this is where I start to like to get adjusted. One thing you could do is you could just shade over the top to give you cloud flats, and that's gonna take away, you know, the the corner, but then it's also going to give up the flat. So one thing I like to do that's a little bit more advanced is play double Mabel out of this. Now, there's a few different ways you can do it. One of the ways I like to do this, though, is set my zone drops on 30 for flats and 5 for curl flats. When I do this, this is going to give me a hybrid type double Mabel coverage that I can use to really defend people who are trying to spam corner routes really, really well. So you guys know one of the meta setups is like basically to have something like this with two corners, right? So how can I look to defend this? So I'll go to free safety zone blitz. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the outside corner, uh, you know, on the bunch side in a flat zone. He's already backed up, he's at 30. The five, the five yard flat is going to be by the curl flat, flat, excuse me, right? So then what am I gonna do? Well, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the safety on that side in, in a deep half, and then I'm gonna rotate um, my safety, uh, you guys can see here, um, that's, you know, on the outside left. I'm gonna also put him into a deep half because now we're gonna do a much better job at you know getting some coverage down the middle, right? But now when you do this, you you have to be responsible for the seam yourself. If you see like a deep seam route to the tight end, a deep post route, etc., you have got to watch that area deep down the middle of the field because this, even though there is decent coverage here, you still can be exploited because at this point, this is essentially a variation of cover two. So the deep middle is definitely your job. With this defense, we're taking away the bunch uh, sideline and then the flats. We got to watch that other area ourselves. So let's see. Go ahead and snap the ball. You guys can see I take that away. And again, you're getting sacked before you can really get anything off here. I really do like this adjustment to defend guys that are trying to spam the corner routes, but also defend the flats at the same time. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is that this defense does work regardless of formation. So, you know, I always get guys asking me about spread. I feel like spread... You know, can be okay this year, but it's not really something I see too commonly. But yes, if someone he does audible to other formations, this splits will still work. Default setup's easy. Again, shade underneath, QB contain, user over the right guard. And once again, guys, you can see the pressure is screaming. Take away the first read over the middle, and it's a sack. Hope you guys enjoyed this defense. If this defense helps you, smash that like button. If I get 500 likes on this video, I'll post another lockdown defense. Until next time, it's your boy Duke.